Hey guys, Dr. Scott Keller coming from my garage again. Um, first of all, I wanted to say congratulations to Andrew Wisman and Phil Kniep this weekend at Regionals. Um, they represented really well, both had great performances, so congratulations guys. Um, and you know, personally, and I know a lot of us feel this way, we just have a great coaching staff at CrossFit Lincoln, three great owners in Cole, Tanya, and Phil. Um, so thank you guys very much for all you do. Um, carrying on with thoracic spine mobility this week, we're going to kind of progress over the next four weeks. So today's going to be a couple uh, more simple um, techniques that you can do to uh, try to mobilize your thoracic spine. Just to recap really quick, the thoracic spine, kind of from the base of our neck down to where our low back begins, very important um, in just overall mobility. It affects the upper body and the lower body uh, drastically. So really don't ignore this area, guys. Shoulder injuries, neck problems, low back, hip problems. Um, I see it every day in the general population, but especially with CrossFitters, so really spend some time on the thoracic spine. Um, we're going to go over just real briefly um, last week with the foam roller. So all of you should lay on the foam roller and just get some general extension. So tighten the core. Remember, we don't want to drop the butt to hyperextend the lower back. Okay, so br bridge up a little bit, keep that tight, and then relax the thoracic spine and just roll up and down gonna give me 30 seconds of that this time. Then we're gonna go into 30 seconds of the crunch with the extension. So just that. Okay, do that for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna go into the bear hug with the roll. As you roll up and down the spine, just get a little bit of rotation movement in that spine. Okay? So that's what we did last week. We're gonna do that again this week, so it's gonna take a minute and a half just to kind of mobilize and get that spine warmed up a little bit, all right? Then we're gonna go into the two new um, techniques this week. This is gonna require no equipment at all. So if you're on the road, if you're at home and you don't have a foam roller or any other way um, to get your spine loose, these are two great examples of kind of yoga-esque um, type things um, that you can do to really, um, mobilize that spine. So the first one a lot of people know is the cat camel. Some people call it the cat cow or whatever. Who cares? Um, basically what we're going to do is be in a quadruped position. So you're going to be on all fours, both hands, both knees, shoulder width apart with the knees and the hands. Okay. What we're going to do first of all is hyperextend our lower back and then flex our lower back. And what I want you to do that for is just to find your neutral position. So from hyperextended to hyperflex, we're going to settle right in the middle of that, so my spine should be neutral. So that's just an easy way for you to find your neutral position. I also, in this exercise, want to keep my core pretty active because I do not, just like on the foam roller, we never want to hyperextend our lumbar spine to compensate for restriction in our thoracic spine, which happens all too often in overhead lifts, you know, um, presses, all those kind of things, okay? So what this exercise is, is as you get this set position in your neutral position in your lumbar spine, you're going to take a breath in. When you breathe in, you're going to inhale and expand that thoracic spine up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, you're going to drop your chest down towards the floor and really get extension in that thoracic spine, kind of bringing your shoulder blades in a down and back position. Okay. I also want to keep my head and my neck in a neutral position here. I don't want to see any of this and none of this. Okay. So I'm going to show you the incorrect way to do this. First of all, in the lower back. So I do not want to see breath in and then hyperextend my lower back. This would be incorrect. I want to keep my lower back in this position and just move through my thoracic spine. Okay. So a good repetition is going to look like breath in and breath out. And some of you may feel like you can't get very far into that extension in your thoracic spine. And that's exactly why you need to be doing these kind of things every single day, multiple times a day even sometimes. We're going to do that 20 times, okay? So 20 repetitions of that does not take very long, okay? The next one we're going to go into is um, called the trap opener. Some people know it as. Um, and basically it's going to go for the rotation aspect of the thoracic spine um, motion, um, just like we did on the foam roller where we're bear hugging and rolling. So this one, I'm going to show you as I face away from you, okay? And what you're going to do is basically just sit back on your heels from the quadruped position like this. 
What that does is it kind of locks your lumbar spine into place so we can't really hyperextend it. Um, you really have to work hard if you want to do that, okay? So I'm going to flip around, show you from this angle. Sit back on your heels, one hand on the back of your head, flex that towards your knee, and then bring it up to the sky and rotate down, up, down, up, okay? So from the front here, quadruped position, sit back on my heels. This hand's pretty much staying where it's at. This hand's gonna go behind my head. Neutral spine all the way down. I'm gonna bring this elbow forward and then to the sky and just rotate through that spine. Hold for just a couple seconds at the end of each one. Really feel that rotation as you go. Okay, once again, we're gonna do 20 reps of that on each side. So, foam roller first, okay, we got a minute and a half on the foam roller, we got 20 repetitions of the camel, and then 20 repetitions per side of the trap opener. Hopefully after those three things, your, your thoracic spine is feeling pretty darn mobile. So, give it a try this week. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Um, Scott at SynergyLincoln.com or ask any of the coaches, they'll know how to answer your questions. Alright guys, good luck this week.